In this section of the course, we are going to create a template for our HMI application. As mentioned in the previous lecture, a template creates a consistent and uniform look for the different screens of our application. Future lines and machines will get more and more complex and it will be a particularly important part of the HMI application builder to break down that increased complexity of systems in such a way that humans can easily learn how to use them. A well-defined template plays a very important role in reducing the complexity of the machine. So with all these talks about templates, you might wonder, what does a template actually look like? A template typically consists of three main areas. The screen navigation area is used to navigate through the different main screens of the application. The information area, or the information bar, because it's typically shaped as a bar, displays valuable information that you would like to have displayed on every screen of your application, like for example the date and time, the actual recipe running on the line, or the current user that is logged on to the system. The final area of the template is the actual screen content area. This content is screen dependent and all of this will get much more clear in the next lectures. Now HMI panels nowadays have typically two aspect ratios. A standard aspect ratio of 4 by 3, this is typically used on older panels, or a widescreen aspect ratio of 15 by 9 or 16 by 9, which is mostly used on modern panels. Depending on which panel you are using in your application, you should think a little bit about the layout of our three main areas. The screen navigation, the information bar, and the main content area. Let's for example have a look at our own HMI application here. In the previous section, we have selected a 9-inch touch panel with a resolution of 800 times 480 pixels, which is an aspect ratio of 15 by 9. So one way to organize your three areas is shown in the picture right here. On the top we have our information bar, on the right we have our screen navigation, and the rest of the screen is our screen-specific content area. If you, for example, have many buttons in your screen navigation area, then it might make more sense to put your screen navigation at the bottom of the screen. Important here when designing the layout of your template is the shape of your screen-specific content area. When you are thinking about your screen layout, try to keep the aspect ratio of your main content area about the same as the aspect ratio of the panel. You don't want to stretch out your main content area too much horizontally or vertically. In this picture right here, our main content area is a rectangle with about the same aspect ratio as the panel itself. Now I'll show you an example of a layout that is less pleasing on the eyes. On this picture right here, you can see that the main content area is wide, but not very high. It will make the information that you will put on your main content area feel cramped in there. Now before we get started with creating a template, I would just like to mention something about selecting main colors for your application. My advice to you is to select a maximum of two to three main colors for your application. Don't go nuts with using different colors everywhere in your application. Blue here, brown there, pink here. It will make your application look like a rainbow and it won't impress anyone. Modern applications only use a couple of main colors throughout all the screens of the application. You will need at least one light color and one dark color to create contrast. Contrast, for example, between a text and its background is very important because it makes the HMI calm and easy on the eyes. A third color can be chosen for some accents and variation. For our application, I have chosen three main colors. I would recommend to write them down somewhere because we will use them quite a lot while building our application. For the light color, I have chosen light gray and for the dark color, dark blue. The third color that I've chosen for some variation is a dark gray color. That brings us to the end of this lecture. We have talked about the layout of a template and how to select colors for a modern look. In our next lecture, we are going to start creating our template. So roll up your sleeves, guys, and here we go.